Welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. This one ain't so hot. It's lukewarm, but it's still worth talking about. Now, if you know who Deion Sanders is, and if you were around during his prime time days in NFL football, then you understand why they called him prime time. Okay, the NFL Hall of Famer and Jackson State head coach, now Jackson State head coach, Deion Sanders just opened up about the foot surgeries that he has had in 2021. I remember seeing Deion on social media. You know, he had his uh, pretty woman beside him, which looks significantly younger than he is. I don't know if she is. I'm just saying. Um, and he said something about you got to make sure that you have a rider in your life, someone that's going to be there not only when times are good, but when times are bad. And this woman has been by my side throughout this whole thing. And I thought to myself, um, is he in there for COVID? Because that's what they made it seem like he was in there for COVID. But when I looked at Deion Sanders at the time, I thought he's there for something more than COVID. This, but they're keeping it under wraps, right? They didn't want to come out and tell us then, I guess, that he was going through health issues that could cause him to lose his leg. We're talking about a NFL football Hall of Famer that lit up our TV screens for years back in the day. And today is still in a prominent position as Jackson State head coach. Now, fast forward. He had a couple of foot surgeries in 2021, revealing that two of his toes were amputated while doctors were treating the three femoral artery or arterial blood clots that were located between his knee and his ankle in his left leg. Now, here's the thing. I have a personal experience with this. Because this is how my grandmother passed. She didn't have diabetes. She didn't have what's called the sugar, which is diabetes. She didn't have any issues. She was fine, right? She had been sitting down a lot because she, of course, was aging. She was in her 90s now. And from that formed a blood clot in her leg, which cut off circulation to a certain part of her leg. Now, it's similar to this exact same thing femoral arterial blood clots Deion Sanders had three of them and of course he has a whole lot of money and a whole lot of fame so he can afford all the best doctors in the world my grandmother was in a country that we refer to as a third world country even though it's a number one vacation spot for many people which is Jamaica but the medical system in Jamaica is set up kind of different from that in the United States of America. Anyhow, Deion Sanders, known as known to his fans as Primetime, he spoke about his illness and his recovery in a recent episode of Barstool Sports Coach Prime web series. Now, they were first talking about the amputation of toes, then the amputation of my leg from the knee down, and then they were just trying to ensure that I had life, he said. So, we called my mother, about the clots and she informed me we didn't know that my uncle actually died from blood clots and my other uncle almost passed last year from blood clots and she was diagnosed with blood clots last year as well so as you can see this runs in his family and it's pretty like it's a lot it's not like one person has it his mom herself and a couple of uncles so hearing that, that's something that, you know, you don't want to hear while you're in the hospital and in that particular state, but it is what it is at that time. This is another reason right here why it's important for you to know your relatives or know your family tree and know your medical history of your family tree, right? Because in your family tree, you will find things that probably are going to happen to you handed down genetically now while in the hospital sanders developed a compartment syndrome which caused swelling in his leg as a result of a built-up fluid and he underwent emergency surgery in order to drain the fluid and save the leg 
exactly the same thing that happened to my grandmother. This was the first of several operations, the last of which resulted in the amputation of his big toe and his second toe. Now see, you learn something new every day because I was told many years ago as a youngin that if you lose your big toe, then you cannot walk. But if you lose any of the other toes on your foot and the big toe remains, then you can still walk because your big toe is your balance. Well, he lost his big toe and I've seen him walking. So that means that's probably false. Now, the hardest thing of all of this, he said, was to look down there and to see that and understand that once upon a time, you were this type of athlete, A-lister, top of the line athlete, and now you're missing parts of one of your feet or one of your foot, your foot, feet, toes, parts of your body. And you don't even know if you're going to walk because all you feel is pain. And you just want to get out of the hospital. You just want to simply get out. You probably just want to get out and go for a walk on a beach. You know, I tell people all the time, man, I say health is wealth. Health is wealth. And the richest person in the world will give up all their riches if it means that they can get their health back once their health starts to fade. It ain't really the mansion and the multiple cars and a private jet and a whole lot of money in the bank and being able to travel to places where other people can't really travel and all this other stuff. It's not really that. That's all good if you can get all that stuff with life and still have health so you can really enjoy that stuff, right? But what really matters is health. Just to be able to walk on the beach right now with no pain in his foot. Just go out for a walk. That's it. Simply get up and walk like you normally do. We take this for granted because right now, most of us who's listening to this, we can simply get up and walk. And it's not an issue until you start losing toes or you lose a leg or you lose a foot, right? Then you have to learn to compensate to walk with a crutch. You have to learn to look at yourself and accept that that part of your body is no longer there. A wise man once said, a man with both feet, he will complain about wanting shoes and new shoes. He needs a pair of new sneakers, a pair of new shoes. Look at the latest sneakers or the latest shoes. I like these Jordans right here. But a man who just lost his legs, he won't be complaining about new shoes. He doesn't even care about fashion. He wants to walk around barefooted. Only he no longer has feet or legs. We're going to leave that one right there. We wish primetime a speedy recovery, but it lets us know also that, you know, these are things that happen to us as humans. And as tough as we might think we are, we're all very fragile, right? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Can you relate to this story? I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. And you already know if the topic is hot. We're on it. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.